This is Amelia Mia Kesey, and today I'm going to talk about um, self-care. Um, I am pretty exhausted, and I'm going to get some of that self-care today. Um, yesterday, I helped Christine Coco Pleasant, operator and owner of Amarillas Bath and Body Co. Um, just so you guys, if you haven't seen my video yesterday, you see a family resemblance. She is my daughter. And so um, I was helping her yesterday, getting her products and everything out there. Um, we had, a, we really had a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully you guys will be able to come see us next week um, at the Tracy's Farmer's Market. Um, there, with, with the exception of a couple of Saturdays, we'll be there every Saturday until the end of the year, unless it's raining and they don't have the Farmer's Market. Um, I recommend you guys coming out and come see us. Um, but going back, um, I'm pretty tired and I am going to, when I get done with this, I'm going to go and get some shower gel and light a candle, take a shower, and then I am just going to relax because I am really tired. Um, yesterday, I slept so much after we got back and she was telling me she did exactly the same thing. She slept a lot yesterday, but I still feel really tired. So today I'm just going to stop and take care of myself and just make sure I, I, I relax. And that's really important for everyone, but, but especially with moms um, and, not, and not just moms with little kids moms that have um, school age kids as well is really important because you don't get a chance to do that you're always running and going and doing and my suggestion is is that hopefully either your mom or someone um, can sit with the kids for a while every now and then it doesn't have to be constant but every now and then so you can get that break and relax and that's a way for you to get rejuvenated so you can go ahead and continue because you can't take care of anybody else if your if your gauge is on e right your gauge is on e and you trying to you running on fumes and you're trying to push through and at some point you're just gonna stop and so before you get to that point, set up a schedule um, one day out the week where you just take care of you. If Even if that means that you go to the grocery store, pick up the groceries you get, and, and then go get you something to eat and sit for a 10, 15 minute just to get you a little break from just the ongoing and everything, you gotta get a chance to get back and be you. I cannot stress this enough. I've I've gone through it where you have gone and gone and gone and gone and you've done everything for everyone. And then your body, your body shuts you down because you don't want your body to shut you down. Because your body will just say, I'm tired, that's it, I'm not doing no more, and that's all we can do. Your body will shut you down. I know this because this happened to me. Um, it was a while ago. Um, it was a lot going on, and I still was running and running and running and running. And my mother, she was, she said, baby, you, do, you just don't look good. Please don't cook. I will buy you all something to eat. So just so you don't have to cook, you need to really, to, and she kept saying that to me as a mom, okay. And, you know, I just kept on going and kept on going. And my body just said, nope, no more. When I say that, I had got to a point where I had started getting really dizzy and I just couldn't, I couldn't drive. I couldn't get up and go and do anything, anything. And I had talked to my doctor and my doctor took me off of work for six weeks. I could not go back. I could not go back to run. I couldn't drive. I couldn't do anything. Um, and so for me, my blood pressure drops. So my blood pressure dropped. I started having the dizziness. They found some other things that were going on with me that I had no idea about. And then come to find out it was family history 
Now, when I start getting that feeling, I stop. I stop what I'm doing. And I, t I tell whoever I'm talking to, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, 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 I'm... I'm exhausted. I just can't do it. And that's that's what I say. And they either are okay with it. And if they're not, I'm sorry for them. But because I've gone through it, I know what it can do. I go sit down somewhere. And it's funny because my kids will tell me in a minute, Ma, you need to stop. If I say, oh, I'm so tired, but I got to get up and go do this, that, and the other, mm -mm, mom, you need to stop because they remember what it was like when I was going and going and going and did not sit down. So I, I don't want anybody that needs to take a break, feel guilty about doing so. At some point, again, your body will shut down and you're going to have to do it anyway. You would rather just go ahead and just take the break willingly than for your body to shut down on you. So I'm getting ready to go in here in just a minute. And I'm going to go in here and take the shower and light this candle and I'm going to go sit down somewhere. I will be having more videos like this. You guys uh, go ahead and... Um, go ahead and sign up on youtube and i i'll have some more like me subscribe so you can see more of my videos okay have a good one